Am I the A for spending money my grandparents gave me instead of saving it toward my stepbrother's treatment fund? My mom got married to Alan two years ago. I, 15 female, was 13 at the time, and Alan's two kids were Emma, 9 female, and Noah, 3 male. Noah was diagnosed with cancer last year, and my mom and her husband were told there's some kind of different treatment he could get in another country, and if they could raise the money, it would be better for Noah than the treatments available in the U.S. My mom and Alan could not afford it, so they have been sending him to treatment here and saving for Noah's treatment. They have a lot of cutbacks and asked that Emma and I give over our money we get so we can afford this. They have about 70% or something now, and that has come from cutting out a lot. We eat very basic meals. We canceled our internet, and we didn't go anywhere for our birthdays or Christmas since the savings started. Any money that comes into the house goes on essentials or the treatment fund. My dad died nine years ago, and my paternal family stayed a part of my life. They know what has been going on, and they have been buying me little treats and taking me out to eat when they can. They also give me money every couple of weeks so I can have something if I need anything. I have been hiding that money because I know I would be told to give it up. I carry it everywhere because Emma is the type to snoop and then tell her dad. She has asked me before why I don't babysit to help make more money for her brother. She would work if she could, but she's only 11. I spent some of the money from my grandparents over the weekend. I got my hair cut, and I bought my best friend a gift for her birthday. I also got some food and spent time at my dad's grave. Mom noticed my hair cut and asked where the money came from. And she realized I was lying when I said it was for my grandparents and they took me because I forgot they were out of town. So I told her they gave me some money to get some stuff done. She told me my haircut was not a need. And how selfish could I be? Alan heard her scolding me and he jumped in and asked what the hell was wrong with me. He told me this family has to pull together for Noah. And I am acting like I don't care whether Noah gets this treatment or not. Of course, by the end of the day, Emma heard and freaked out. By then, my mom ran into my best friend's mom a couple of days ago. And she told mom my gift to her best friend was so sweet and thoughtful. I was sat down and yelled at for spending the money on not just me, but on others. Alan asked me how I could give the money for a gift. That meant nothing when it could have gone to save my brother's life. I yelled back that it's not my job to pay for Noah's treatments. And I'm already sacrificing, but I refuse to go all the way they want me to. I told them the money came from my family. Family who was nothing to them. And they need to let it go. But Alan called me a selfish little witch and he told me I should be ashamed of my repulsive behavior. Now, Emma keeps telling me I'm a bad person. Am I the A? Now for the top comments. Not the A. Go live with your grandparents if you can. Pitch it as it's a way to help them save money for Noah. And don't ever go back. I get being worried about your kid but to starve the other kids of having a youth just to send him somewhere else? Do they not realize that this is just to send him there? Not to mention the cost of the stay. They think because Emma is happy to do it, I should be too, especially being older. But Noah is Emma's brother, and that is always going to make it different. I don't know if they will go for me living with my grandparents, but I might try. Thanks. Not the A. This is not your responsibility. You haven't even been in Noah's life very long. I would definitely check with your grandparents to see if you could live with them. If your stepfather is calling you a selfish little witch for getting a haircut, 
then you should leave if you can. That's not okay. You're 15. I haven't. And that's something I wouldn't say out loud because it would make life even more hell on earth. I have known Alan, Noah, and Emma for a little over two and a half years. I know they think I'm some horrible monster for not being more determined like Emma is, but Noah is her brother. He's my stepbrother, and not a stepbrother I consider just a brother. I don't consider Emma just a sister either, or Alan my dad, or even my parent, really. I'm not protesting all the changes made in our lifestyle, but I will take my grandparents up on making sure I still have some nice food sometimes and get my hair cut or other things of that nature. Emma would give it all for her brother, and I get that. I'm going to try and leave if I can do so easily. Going to talk to my grandparents tomorrow and see what happens from there. Not the A. The money from your grandparents was for you to spend on yourself. They know that your family has little money now and cannot treat you to anything. I can understand your mother's and stepfather's reaction, though, as they are desperate to save the money. I would discuss this matter with your grandparents. If this is a recurring issue, they would have to discuss it with your mother, and you are in a rather weak position there. My mom wouldn't like my grandparents talking to her. She and my dad were not on good terms when he died, and she hates my family. She wanted to cut me off from them many times, but was told they would get rights to see me. She resents them more now because I choose to see them so much, and she also has resentment that they won't help out with the treatment fund, even though this is nothing to do with them. Not the A. Your grandparents gave you that money because they wanted you to spend it on yourself. While your family is going through a hard time and cutting back on luxuries, I can understand that your mom and stepdad are willing to do anything in their power to get that money saved. But it doesn't entitle them to your money. You are a child too. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.